मैसेज में एक बार आई ज्वाइन किया था कुछ बाद में उसने बोला और प्रीता नहीं आती है प्रीता भी नहीं कंटिन्यू कर रही है पहले से ज्वाइन नहीं कर रही है प्रीता भी कोठारी आई हैव नेवर मेट देम आई डोंट इवन नो देम बिकॉज़ आई ने एक बार किया था मैम ज्वाइन एक ही बार कुछ किया था इतने दिनों में शायद इन नो नो नॉट इन माय क्लास बिकॉज़ आई रिमेंबर ओनली सकीना शाश्वत श्याम आयुषी एंड अग्नि आई ऑलवेज हैड दीस फाइव स्टूडेंट्स विद मी ओके सो आई डोंट इवन नो अबाउट टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट डूंग्रेजेस विद यू So what I was thinking is that today we can uh, now that we are comfortable with IPM, so we can take critical reasoning, something little, yeah, higher. ठीक है? So that's what I was thinking that maybe I just wanted you guys to be comfortable first, you know, with the topics and everything. So we can start with critical reasoning. What's an inference? What's an argument? Strategies to approach. It's a little detailed topic, so you need to have a lot of patience. Okay, because this is the only topic in IPM which takes a little time as compared to other topics. The reason being because you know other topics you have already done in schools. I mean, you you have an idea in school. Yeah, exactly. But this topic is you are not familiar with, so that is why it takes time. Okay, so just be a little patient. ठीक <laughs> है. And uh, if you don't understand something, you can tell me here and there. Ah, let us wait for one more minute and we'll get started. Are you, Anishka, ma'am, you just let me know that. Ah, uh, Shashwat on the way. पहुँचेगा ten minutes में. शाम को call कर रही हूँ. ठीक है. Then I'll just start with the class. I'll give them a recap. हाँ हाँ. Because it takes a lot of time. मैम uh, शाम आने नहीं वाला है उसकी तबीयत खराब है तो शाश्वत आ जाता है तो आप कंटिन्यू कर सकते हो ओके थैंक यू मैम सो अवनी इज हियर एंड देन वी हैव सकीना एंड शाश्वत श्याम आयुष्य वो आ जाएगा तो शाश्वत और आयुष्मा ये आयुषी है Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Everybody is there. Whoever is always there in the classes. Yeah. Okay. So Avni and Sakina, I don't know if you heard this uh, about critical reasoning when I was talking to Ayushi. Yeah. Okay. You heard me that I was telling her that it might take a little time and all. Okay. Because this is the only. Uh, I mean, I won't say difficult, but this is the only topic which needs a lot of discussion. Okay. Because the questions uh, can be. <laughs> Questions can be in a, you know in such a way critical way. So what what I want is that uh, uh, Shashwat, you do you just have to tell me wherever whenever you don't understand something. Okay, because in this topic you can't afford to you know go back and do it again because it's it's difficult. I mean it would be hard for me because it takes a lot of time. Okay, so just let me know there and then. This is difficult and I'll do it. So critical. you may just keep your notebooks open because in this in this topic only you would require a lot of writing otherwise you don't need okay other topics are okay get back okay so what do you understand by critical what is critical what's the difference what's the meaning in case it means critical when i say 
say um, I got a very, um, you know, um, critical viewpoint or um, somebody wrote it in the, such a way. So what does this mean? Agni, what do you think? Um, thinking uh, and analyzing, interpreting. I agree with you. So when you talk about analyzing Agni, so do you really think so they will talk only about positive things? No. no. It will be something which is very, you know, it's bad. It's not, uh, I mean, it's it will be positive and negative both. Like, for example, if you have seen those, uh, I don't know if you guys follow Bollywood and all, curly tales, and you, you do. So whenever they write a critical viewpoint about a movie, so they are not concerned how you feel or how a director feels. They're not getting money from a director to write something good, right? So they'll write what they feel and they will judge, they will rate it. You know, out of five, how many you kill? And even Radio Mirchi and all, you would be hearing. So that's known as critical. Okay, so your job in SAT, SAT is to identify and to solve such type of questions. Okay, so what is your job? That is what we will have to do. So you would be finding a lot of uh, different meaning. Like, for example, uh, Sakina, we say this about the critical, we say about the patient's condition. Right? The condition of the patient. Or you may talk about it. I, I don't approve with your viewpoint. I, I have an, you know, uh, opposite view, not negative or not positive, opposite view. That's also critical. So this is all critical reasoning. So let's go to the main thing here. So if you can see, can you see the word file, Sakina? No? Oh, no. Let me just share it again. Yeah, can you see now, Agni? Okay, so Agni, if you look at the first point over here, I think it's visible to you. And Shasha is Okay, so you can see over here that they are talking in terms of interpreting the data, and you know, you may, may have to find out a conclusion or you have to find out a generalization. So that would be your job in SAT. Okay, that you have to identify things. That is it a general statement? Is it a um, kind of? Uh, it is, is. Is it showing any kind of evidence? Is it show, Is it trying to interpret something? So you have to analyze this thing. How we have to analyze? I'll give you the strategies. Okay, that how we have to go ahead. So you can see over here construction of an argument. So basically, it consists of two essential components. Sakina, what are the two essential com components? Premise and conclusion. Okay, so what is premise as for you? What's premise? The can, main topic. Yeah, the fact. If I say, the Sakina, Agni, if I say something like, you know, uh, it's a fact that Ayushi came for the class last time. You can't do anything about it. She came for the class, right? That's known as a premise. And conclusion is the result. Like, did Ayushi understand or not understand? That's a result. But she came for the class. She came for the class, right? So you can just write down in your notebook, argument, write down the um, subheading argument and you can divide it into two parts and write down the premise. I am giving you this theory because this will be useful when you are identifying the questions. You have to identify these things, okay? Premise and conclusion. So you can write down the Premise is the fact or the facts, whatever you want. The facts and the conclusion is the result. Through facts. Are we clear with this? Facts and the result reached through facts. So this is one type of an argument. Okay. There can be another type of an argument. Okay. Which is known as a small argument. The, a very basic argument. General argument. Look, doesn't look like an argument. It's an argument. Okay. So that will contain two components. That will be assumption and inference. What do you think? What's an assumption? Right. Write it down, please. Write another argument. And put down in the bracket small and write down inference and 
assumption. Inference and assumption. Now you guys have to tell me, Ayushi, what is assumption? Something which we like assume. Because I'm assuming that someone is bad, someone is evil. You don't have any proof for that. You don't have any fact for that. And I, I'm arguing on the basis of my assumption. Right? So this is known. And inference is the result. Okay, Sakina and uh, Ami, are you clear with that? Here. So you can look over here. If you can see, you don't have to write. Assumption is idea taken to be true to arrive at a stated conclusion, but there's no supporting evidence in the premises. In other words, it's an implied premise. Matlab, aapke paas koi fact nahi hai, chik hai? But aapne us fact ko fact bana diya. Are you getting it? So you technically, you just proved it. That, you know, on the basis that she, ha she, she's, she has this, he has this, or, you know, uh, she has a positive vibe, or anything you are bringing out a conclusion. Got it? So that is what it is. So you can, uh, now the question will be like this. If you can see an example. Sakina, just uh, read the premise, please. Premise. Jake's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Okay. Uh, okay. Conclusion. Conclusion. Therefore, he must be the killer. Ayushi. Assumption. Nobody else does the weapon before or after Jack. Did. 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 So, how can I, I? I mean, if I won't have given you, uh, let's say, um, I, I mean, I'm not giving you premise, conclusion, assumption, and I've just given you the statements. What would be your technique to identify? Do, can you identify conclusion clearly? Yes? No problem with conclusion? Uh, if you see assumption and premise, premise means fact. Okay. Can you, do you think so? Fact is available in this sentence? What is a fact? Give me a fact. His fingerprints. His fingerprints right? And uh, in assumption, since nobody touched it, so, uh, so nobody touched it, so he must be the one. Clear? Easy? Comfortable till here? Okay. Now, uh, <coughs> do you guys think so you want to write this example or you guys are comfortable? You then have to take a call. You're comfortable? Or if you're comfortable, chicken. then you can go. Just think about your comfort from an exam point of view. Huh? Not today. <laughs> How to work out the assumption. So here, they talk about assumption is an implicit premise without which a conclusion cannot be increased. Now think from the math point of view. One premise plus another premise plus assumption equals to conclusion. Do you think so? I mean, if I have a premise, okay, let's say one premise, that is two plus Another premise, three plus how many assumptions? Which will bring ten conclusions? Five where? Assumption. Yeah. In total, five. That will. So, even if we are, so basically, what I want you to tell you is that your conclusion is not based on the number of premise and the number of. Uh, assumptions. It is actually based on even if you have one premise. So your answer would not change. Agar aapke pas one fact bhi hai, so you can easily prove a conclusion. This is what I want. Clear? Okay. Now, let's go with an example. Uh, Sakina, premise. Jake's fingerprint were found on the murder weapon. Okay. So, uh, Avni? Conclusion, yet he cannot be the killer. Yet he cannot be the killer. Assumption? Okay. 
So why do you think, guys, uh, here the conclusion changed and over there the conclusion was like straight away? Why? Because of the assumption. Because of an assumption. Are we clear with this? So an assumption can overtake your premise. Because you have left such assumption that fact also doesn't look like a fact. You getting it? What I'm saying? Are you seeing? You need to ask me if you don't understand something. Like for example, I said, you know, um, you have watched the CID and all, yeah. yeah. So they say that you know the fingerprints were found on the one, one uh, murder weapon and all these things. So I'm not going with the conclusion. And the other person says and comes, but you know, I can even uh, see some evidence of the involvement of another person. I can see the shoe steps. I mean, I can see the footsteps or something like that, or shoes mark or something like that over there. So do you think so you can come to the conclusion? You said this, he said this, can I come to a conclusion to, to what would I say? I said, but he cannot be the killer right now because he's saying something else, she's saying something. So what exactly the uh, statements are trying to let you know is in critical reasoning, it is not important only to look at the premise. You also have to give an equal weightage to an assumption. Okay. So don't go with a mathematical calculation that there are five facts. Okay. And if you have one assumption is also something which is not supporting and which is contradicting your fact, the conclusion doesn't come. Are we clear with this? Yes, yes Ayushi. Sure. Chee. Sakina and Amni, you are okay? Yeah, na? Now, this is important. Sakina, I want you to read. What not to do? What not to do when working out the assumption and premise philosophers play an important role in the intellectual development of a society. Conclusion. Therefore, they influence people's thinking. Assumption one, philosophers are crucial to the intellectual development of people. And then assumption two, society needs intellectual development. Assumption three, intellectual development of society may not happen at all. So now tell me, do you guys think so that this conclusion can come in? Read the assumptions carefully. Or are the assumptions correct? Is it right to rephrase a premise? You can't rephrase something. It is not allowed. You're getting it? Take, take 30 seconds. Observe it and then tell me. Premise is what, Avni? What is premise over here? Uh, yeah, dear. Fact. Philosophers play premise. an important role in the intellectual development. Okay. If I say philosophers play an intellect, uh, important role in the intellectual development, so is it right? Uh, do you think so this is a correct uh, assumption? One, philosophers are crucial. It's the same thing, crucial and important. It's the same thing. You're not supposed to do that. So this is not an assumption. It does not make it as an assumption. Let's say second, society needs intellectual de development. Does it support the conclusion? Aishi, what's the conclusion, dear? So, uh, do you think so? This is an this is a uh, valid assumption. No, it's not a valid assumption. Third one, Sakina, intellectual development of society may not happen at all. Do you think so? It is it is going along with the premise. No. No, it is the opposite. It is the opposite. You are contradicting the statement itself, right? It is technically opposite. Now come to this assumption four. Society believes in what philosophers say. So Agni, so do you think so assumption addresses and validates the conclusion? This is important here. The fourth assumption. Yes, it validates the conclusion. So can you identify an assumption in your exam? Yeah. So what is your job when you have to identify an assumption? What do you have to see? That? I have to see if uh, the conclusion and the 
assumption needs something like they are familiar with familiar with something one two you have to see that it's not being rephrased our job is not only to see i feel i have two types of questions you know i have one type of question a conclusion hai premise hai and assumption ko i'll do this no theek hai you have to see different types of question one you have to you have to identify an assumption over there Okay, which is the correct assumption, the which I did it just now with you. That's one job to do. Second, they will ask you you identify premises and assumptions from the sentence. It's different topics. It's different questions. If they give you a question, Sakina and Amni, if they give you a question that you identify the correct assumption, can you do this? You're confident. If they ask you identify the premises from the sentence, can you do this? Premises. पता चल जाएगा आपको premises. What is the meaning of premises? फर्दर Let's come to an Sakina and Av Avni comfortable. Okay. Let's come to an inference. Ayushi, what is an inference? An inference is a statement logically derived from the premise or the conclusion of both together. Mm. In other words, it is it is an implied conclusion. Then consider the first example that we saw. फ्रेंस Ma'am, it will be a sentence which is just saying the uh, gist or the meaning of the whole thing. I think uh, what she, uh, what you are trying to do is you are trying to bring out logic over there. Are you yes. trying to? Yes. Yes. So inference is logic. Okay. Just write down in your notebook so that you don't forget later. Just write down inference. means logic <coughs> inference means logic. i won't say means logic only because it's not grammatically correct what i'm saying it's i would rather go with a grammatically correct sentence statement logically derived from the premise or the conclusion or both together so i want to be <laughs> that's a short form which i can use so just make sure in your exam you should be knowing it that inference has to be derived from the premise or the conclusion you can't take it out from somewhere else assumption say you are not supposed to do okay so i wish you please write it you will forget it otherwise shashwat yes clear na Now can I proceed? Okay. Now I'm showing you a sample argument. Okay. Avni, can you read it, Peter? Another sample argument. It has been observed that due to poverty, many children from underprivileged families work in hazardous professions such as manufacturing of fireworks. Inference one: These children are deprived of education. It's incorrect. They may still be attending school. Inference two: Manufacturers of fireworks commonly employ child labor. Correct. Inference three: 
priority uh, forces poor families to take significant risks with their health. Correct. Why do you think the other two are correct, Shashwat, and the first one is not correct? Because there is no mention of education. Is there a is there an um uh, thing uh, I mean uh, which you can take out from uh, like the one which is meant because sentence is an entrance to an entrance to. There is no mention of schools or which they are not attending schools. Mm -hmm. So you mean uh, Ayushi? So you would have gone? Would you have gone with the word that poverty is given and then also manufacture five? Fireworks commonly employs to be things in the correct sentences. Yes. Yes. Sure. Okay. At the top. Yes, sure. Good. So now let's just see a difference between uh, Sakina and Ayushi clear, na? And uh, even uh, there is other one. Agni is here. Sakina. Sakina, chali gayi kya? Yeah. I mean, can you ask her please? Because then I won't be able to repeat things. Okay, okay. Just wait. I will just call her again. Because once you miss in this topic, it's very hard to recap. Okay. Now what I want you to do is before. <coughs> so first I'll tell you the difference. Then I'll come here. Then you'll have types of questions over here. Argument questions and all. It is. It is the only one. It is the only LND topic in IPM. And you won't find any other topic. But once you understand, once you have a base of it, it's very easy. The thing is only that you don't need that practice or anything. It's just that you don't have to miss out on things. That's why I'm just waiting for her. Because if she misses, if she's not coming, then we can go ahead. Ma'am, yeah, ma'am. वो join कर रही है, उसका laptop hang हो गया है, वो कर रही है join mobile से. ठीक है ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. So what we can do is come to page number forty three, guys. Ah, uh, Amni, come to page number forty three, and just go to go through. Forty three, forty four, and forty five. Just go through these three pages and I'll take just from you guys. This is something which I've just covered. Okay. So just quickly start reading. Okay. And keep underlining things if you feel. Now what happened to your laptop?
Sakina? Yes, ma'am. What happened to your laptop? Ma'am, it got switched off automatically. I changed my laptop. Uh -huh. Did you put it on charger? Yes. It did? Chala, good. Uh, Sakina, what we were doing is, I think you attended this another sample argument with us. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So what we are doing right now is, we are just reading 43, come to the textbook, UT book. Okay, and read these three pages, 43, 44, 45. Okay. Okay, then I'm, I'll do the word file again with you after this.
Finished, guys? Any doubt here? So, this. What basically they're trying to say before is that you have to identify an assumption. Okay, it is not required always that I'm, I'm identifying the premise based on fact. Taking premise is fact. Huh? So that this is what they're saying. They're saying that there might be high chances that you don't have a fact over here in the sentence. So it is okay that you go with the assumptions. And if, if assumptions are supporting those two points, and then you can bring out a conclusion. So they're saying that don't go with the negative thinking. Is, you, you're getting it. So negation, but they're saying no. You know, guys, once we're done, Sakina or me. I'm done. Yeah. So we'll have Shashwat to explain, uh, to give a gist of page number 43. Okay. So summarize quickly. Can you hear Shashwat properly? No. Oh. You have to come here. Come here and be a little louder. Okay, because it's very hard to. Thank you. Most of page what is in the further introduction to the more critical reasoning and all the concepts like assumptions. Uh, assumptions, arguments, and uh, uh, sorry, uh, arguments, assumptions, conclusions, and uh, premises. Uh, and then all the common terms you say, argument is like an argument. Mm -hmm. It's okay, I understood. You mean uh, in terms of the facts, assumptions? So, okay. And conclusion is like the main point uh, where. And what is it based on? On facts. On facts. Uh, Let's go with the keywords. Yes. And then uh, premises, which are also facts. Um, that supports the? Uh, the statement. Conclusion. Sorry, conclusion. Sorry. Guys, this is very, very important. Otherwise, we'll have tough time in our exam. See, look over here. They talk about clearly conclusion is the main point of an argument. Argument, you know, the introductory thing, which we had done. And it is based on facts. We know it conclusion would be based on facts. And what are those facts? What are those facts known as? Premise. What are those facts known as? Premise. Clear? So this is what they're saying it. And then, see, find out the easy way to learn it. <coughs> Don't complicate yourself with so many terms and all. Okay, you know facts. That is, you know, premise, you know, conclusion. Obviously, it's common sense conclusion will be based on fact only. You know? That is why conclusion is based on premise, right? And we know assumptions, right? Then assumptions is about a hidden fact which supports the conclusion. And then what is an inference? Quickly, what's an inference? 
it's going to be stored in bags. Okay, so basically you have to logically derive. Conversion which is based on that. Yes. You have to logically derive over. Okay, this is also important. I think uh, we already know that concept of negation. You guys know about the concept of negation, na? No, Abni? No, selecting an answer that occupies excludes the original choice. Like you can uh, cancel out different other things and you come with elimination. You know elimination, right? Concept to conclusion, assumption. So these are the things which we have on page number 43. Amni and Sakina, do you need help with page number 43? Ma'am, concept of negation, if you could explain. Which one? Concept of negation? Huh? Yes. Just read out for me, Sakina. Selecting an answer that occupies the sample space that in turn excludes the original choice. So what do you think? What does it mean in English? Yeah. What do you mean by sample space? The argument, sample argument which we read it. So the, like for example, it has been observed that due to poverty, many children. So when I read this, okay, so what is the original choice over here as per you? What is it revolving around in the first line? Poverty. Poverty. But do you think so? It is also in the second line, it's also talking about the hazardous professions? Yes. Yes. So you take out the poverty <laughs> aside and you see other things. That is what they're saying. The concept of negation. Okay, then you would be able to identify that there can be different type of assumptions. That is what you read now, that inference 2 and inference 3. You getting it? If otherwise, you would have said that there's only one inference that is on poverty. But there are there is another inference also which is based on this. So this is known as concept of negation. Clear? Are you sure you clear with this concept of negation? Yeah. What's this? Uh, this batch is like this code. And give it to them. Great and batch. Can we go with the summary of page 44? Yes. Sakina, can you provide that? Yes, ma'am. So basically, here they have shown us strategies to handle and to solve the questions. First of all, it is saying that it is difficult, like when we read a sentence in a go, it is very hard to identify. So break break the critical reasoning question into passages and then identify. Also, most of the time, there are many complex and complicated sentences. So they are saying to simplify it and put simpler words that will be easy for us to identify. And they are also talking about how uh, we interpret what is being asked wrong. So read the question mm. carefully. Mm. And uh, pick your answer accurately. Then they have said to understand the logic behind the sentence and then identify. Also, they, uh, while choosing the correct assumption, they say that assumptions are always indefinite and positive. Hmm. So that is the way you can identify if it is an assumption or not. If it is negative, it's not. Yeah. And I then think. when as we are talking about the present and positive things, it is an assumption. Whereas if we talk about the past and future, it is not an assumption. Very good. Are we all clear with this? Strategies and we have to avoid generalizations. Do not do generalizations ever. Chicken? Are you sure it out? Sure? Chicken. Let's see our Avni for page number 45. Uh, types of critical reasoning questions and verbal ability. So that's uh, strengthen or weaken the conclusion, find an assumption, find an inference, resolve the paradox, and mimic the reasoning. Uh, then we have examples. Uh, statement one, the serious accident in which a person was run down by a car yesterday was again focused attention on the most unsatisfactory state of uh, roads. 
so the conclusion can be uh, that the accident occurred was fatal and um, the accidents uh, take place because of unsatisfactory uh, state of roads. So both the conclusions are correct uh, as we can conclude from the statement. And the second statement is jade plant has thick leaves and it requires little water. Conclusions are all plants with thick leaves require little water. And the second one is jade plant may be grown in places where water is not in abundance. So only the second one is correct. Because the first one is not correct because uh, it's never mentioned that all plants are uh, has thick have thick leaves and require water. It's only jade plants. Good. Uh, statement three, the best evidence of India's glorious past uh, is the growing popularity of um, Ayurvedic medicines in the West. Uh, Ayurvedic medicines are not popular in India. Allopathic medicines are more popular in India. In India. Uh, so uh, none of the conclusions can be drawn because... Uh, yeah, because we are not talking about... Uh... You know, uh, Ayurvedic are, are not popular. We are rather talking about the popularity. So technically, you can't bring out anything over here. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Let's come to the word file again. You can close your books for some time. Okay, now come to the difference between an assumption and an inference. So this is important that assumptions have no supporting data in the facts of the case, whereas inferences are supported by the facts of the case. Do we agree with this? Do you agree with this, guys? That assumptions have no supporting data and inferences are fully supported by the facts. Yes. Assumption ka matlab kya hota? What is assumption? This is the just assuming that you know this might have happened or this so that's assumption obviously you don't have a fact and infer inferences you will always have the facts of the case because inferences derived from fact what is a fact was that the name of fact remains sorted okay this is important because what happens is i tell you the common error children forget what is the other name from, from where does the inference derive in? So then they get confused. That you know why inference is also like an assumption only it's a logical der deriving thing. Na? So why? So they come out with this why and then it becomes difficult. Okay, so you please write it down because this is something common error. Uh, just write. Or you can divide the page into two halves. Whatever you want to do, however you're comfortable. I'm erasing the other part of the board. Assumption and inference, and you can just write down that assumptions have no supporting data, and the facts and inference are fully supported by this. So you can just write down under that the inferences are based on the facts and facts ke samne, you can put an arrow and write on premise just to be on a safer side in the future. Okay. If you get confused, just scroll through your pages. I mean, okay, glance through the pages and you'll understand.
clear? Can we proceed, guys? Okay, this just read this. Uh, are you sure? Assumptions are needed to. Assumptions are needed to arrive at the conclusions. If the premises are insufficient, whereas interferences are not uh, uh, required to arrive at the conclusions, whether they may be, uh, sorry, whether they may become evident as a result of the conclusion. Yes. So, what does this mean? The assumptions are needed to arrive, prism rises and sufficient Q, because assumptions are not based on facts. And what's fact? Premise. So, if I'm not based on facts, I don't need you. You're getting it? I can still assume my things and I can bring out a conclusion. Because of my assumption, I brought a conclusion. I don't need a fact for you. You got it? That's not the point conclusion is right or wrong. Let's not go to the point. I'm just saying that I don't need it. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Yes. The second one is inferences are not required to arrive at the conclusions. Rather, they may become evident as a result of the conclusion. Technically, inference comes out of the conclusion. Now, that is what we studied earlier. It's a logically derived thing which has come out of the conclusion. As well as the premise, to be very honest. Okay? But over here, basically, they are telling you that it's okay if I don't have a premise. I can still write an assumption and I can still write a conclusion. May or may not be true, that is not my point. Are we clear? Sure, but I'm clear. See, I don't want this half hearted clear, then I can't go back. <laughs> if you tell me if you're not clear, I'll do it. Yeah? Yeah. Amni, Sakina, can you proceed? Uh, Ma'am, what is the difference between inference and conclusion? Okay. Inference <laughs> is a logically derived statement. Okay. Which has taken the aspects of everything. I'll give you... Uh, one second. I'll just scroll. Yeah, here. Can you, Avni, read out this example for me, please? Jake's finger, fingerprints. Jake, fin Jake's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Therefore, he must be the killer. Nobody else touched the weapon uh, before or after Jake did. At some point, Jake handled the weapon. So, uh, if, over here, inference doesn't say anything about... Inference is technically coming out of this. It's a statement. You getting it? It's not a fact. It's not something that it is on this basis, on the basis of inference, you can't do anything. You're getting it. But on the basis of the premise, you can do everything. On the basis of an assumption, you can come out with a conclusion. Are you clear? But inference is technically based on the conclusion because it's saying that the conclusion, therefore, he must be the killer. Nobody else touched the weapon. Jake's fingerprints were found over there. So at some point, Jake handled the weapon. Now, that's what you want to say. Now. Come with the logic. What do you want to say? Sub-conclusion. I agree with you. Yes. Okay? Sub-conclusion, but in a very logical manner. Not like a half-hearted conclusion. May not, may... No, no, no. That thing will not work with inference. You have to logically say what you want to say. Clear it up. Like a summary. Like a summary. Not a right word to say for me, but I'm just telling you for... I'm just making you understand. Yeah, but we don't use it in English. Okay. What not to do when working out the inference? Do not do this. A premise. Read out here. Amni. Premise. A recent survey established that obesity is rising among children. Conclusion. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the principal of a leading school was decided to stop the sale of aerated uh, drinks in the school campus. Hmm. Inference one, consumption of aerated drinks is a major cause of obesity among children. Uh, one Do you think so? It makes sense over here. Is it a logic thing which has come out from premise and conclusion? No. You take your own call. Go with, don't go with my things that you know I have written incorrect over here. Don't go with my answers. You, you take a call. Do you think so? No. No way mentioned it. Right? Let's go with only second inference. The decision of the principal was based on the findings of the survey. Do you think so? Rephrasing a conclusion is the right thing? This was the 
conclusion, right? You're not supposed to rephrase the conclusion, right? This is what we discussed earlier. Let's say inference three. The survey included only the children from affluent families. Does it say anything like that? No. Sakina, does it say anything like that? Affluent? They don't even mention affluent. Fourth. Before this decision, aerated drinks were available in the school campus. Do you think so? Yeah. Yeah. It says clearly. From where are, from where are we bringing the inference? Where are we bringing the logical derivation? From where? Conclusion. Conclusion. Okay. Please write it down. Inference are derived. Inference are the logical statement derived from the conclusion. S simple words. Sakina Avni, if you have Ayushi, Tasha, if you have any doubt with these things, you have to clear it up, please. Because this is the only thing which we have in SAT, which is little, oh, sorry, which we have in IP, which is a little difficult, little difficult. Nothing else. Okay, easy. Can we proceed? By the way, it's your break time. <laughs> so you guys can go, have some water, and come back exactly in five minutes. Okay, Sakina and Amni?
I what I'm thinking is I'll just show you this first common terms. <coughs> if there is any doubt, argument you are clear, right? Another is in order to strengthen one has to support or go against an unstated assumption related to the questions given. Okay, so you have to identify over here. Confusion, we know main point of an argument is based on facts. facts. Facts or premise. You know, it a fact or premise is stated evidence that supports the okay. conclusion. Sorry. As, Sorry. Okay. You want me to say something? No, no, no. Okay. Assumption is like an unstated hidden fact which supports the conclusion. Hidden fact, now, which is okay. an inference, something which we get or interpret from the given statement. Have we any doubt? Your expressions? No? Okay. I thought you have any doubt. <laughs> Expressions are like that. Okay. Now, come to page number 46. 46 uh, covers 47 and facts, certain 48, 49. Technically, I've covered more or less. Inference versus conclusion, paradox questions, and all. I'm not taking right now. Okay, so what do you need to do is, guys, you read 46. And one more thing. No, I mean, I'm not naming anyone, but just saying it that when, when we say gist, gist has to be really small, really short. Okay, gist means you're just pick, picking out the important points from there and you're giving it to the class. But if you have a doubt, we have to take up <clears throat> if any one of you have a doubt. Okay, so that is what gist is. So don't go with the detailed explanation. Okay, 46, 47, 48, 46, 47, 48, 49. Let's have four pages together because so the four of you can do it. Yeah, the way it becomes. Okay, so you guys can start reading. Then I'm thinking maybe I can take up some exercise questions first based on this. Then we'll do a new thing of critical reason. Okay? Let me clear that first. <coughs>
corroborator. An artificial sensor to corroborate that the central reduction is correct.
Unmute if you know, let me know. Sir. Done. I'm done. Come me. On page forty six. You fin you finished reading? Yes. Okay. Uh okay. Amni in short, okay. Uh Uh -huh. Critical reasoning, uh, argument questions. Argument questions, uh, we have to identify if it is right or wrong, if the statement is strong or weak. Uh, what is the argument? Uh, it is a combination of two or more phrases, uh, sentences, or statements which includes conclusion or inference. Uh, assumption is a hidden logical connection. And uh, assumption uh, are the bond that holds an argument together. Strengthening an argument, um, a strong argument is logical, practical, and universally applicable. Uh, a strong argument will always have a why in it. Uh, weak arguments are illogical and impractical. And irrelevant. Good. Will not have why in it. Right? Okay, so you remember last, uh, we were doing this weak argument and uh, strong argument when I was telling you about this. You remember two things you drew, drew in your notebook check? Weak argument and the strong argument. The strong argument you said premise and conclusion. And the weak argument you said the inference and assumption. assumption. So why in it matlab logic is this? Does it have a fact or it doesn't have a fact? Okay? So you can in, in, uh, in places small, you can even put down high, uh, slash weak. Because in your exam, you should not get confused. Okay? And you can just incorporate over there in a strong argument. You'll have why in it, what Avni told. She said an important point. It has why in it. And Avni is saying that in weak argument, it does not have why in it. Yes, Avni? That's what, no? Okay. Sakina, can you just take this forward? Of, on page 47, I mean, what Saki Avni said, it, it's just based on those. So I'll start with weakening an argument. Yes, dear. So basically, weakening an argument is something which is a sentence very illogical and not relevant to the particular argument. And uh, the sentence will not have a why in it. Hmm. And we can identify a weak argument or we can weak an argument in two different ways. Hmm. And then there are examples given, but I'll just explain the two different ways because examples everybody has read. Sure. 
so any choice that is like uh, not at all related or it is proving the assumption wrong can weaken the argument and that's it i guess Ha, and then any information given in this particular sentence which is not at all related will also we can that. Good. So, uh, Sakina, can you also give us any one example out of this? Okay, Next so day. we can we can take the third statement. Should those who receive dowry despite the law prohibiting it be punished? So, the arguments are yes, those who violate the law must be punished. Second, no dowry system is firmly rooted in the society since time immemorial. So, it is very obvious that the first statement is supporting, first argument is supporting the statement. So, it will strengthen and the other one will weaken it. Hmm. Okay. Good. Good, Sakina. Any doubt, guys? Till here, Avni? Nona? Ayushi, will you take a page number 48? Yeah. Uh, page number 48 is all about uh, inference mm -hmm. and so inference based questions are like uh, based on fact, judgments and inference are frequently asking critical uh, reasoning. Mm -hmm. uh, then we uh, then we talk about facts which uh, fact is like uh, it's, it's like universally accepted truth. Mm -hmm. It is um, like we can verify it because it's fact which cannot be changed. Then we will come to inference. Inference, as we talked about, it's a fact. It's also logic, which is concluded from uh, like it is also a statement which is concluded from confusion. We we have drawn like we draw it out from confusion. Mm -hmm. So it is inference. Then we'll come to judgments. Judgment, like we judge things, like judgmental opinion. It's our opinion. It's our point of view. Uh, it may vary from person to person. person. Good. And uh, can you give us this example also? Minister said this Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. Uh, the minister said that the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan is a wonderful initiative. Um, you want to do the only no no. So I'm just asking you, in this sentence, how would you say it is a fact? Sakina, how would you say Swachh Bharat Abhiyan is a, a wonderful uh, initiative? What is the keyword which shows it's a fact? Ma'am, because the minister said it, so he's approving or he's yeah. stating it. Good. And the second one, the schools of the city have adopted the project and made plans to launch a Number pro programs. What is fact? Fact. Why? Because it is verifiable. It is verifiable. Statement three, Shashwat. With various segments of the society contributing towards it, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan is going to be a success. Uh, in press. Uh, when it's like uh, a contribution. Coming out of that at this. Avni, are you clear with in press? Yes. Fourth, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan will go a long way towards cleaner India. Aishi, we'll go a long way towards cleaner India. What are you doing over here? I mean, what is the sentence doing, not you? What is the sentence doing over here? Uh, we're giving our own opinions. Judgment. Clear? Are you clear with judgment, inference, premise, that's fact, everything? Oh, good. So now, um, <laughs> Shashwat will tell us. Uh, page 49 is mainly about inference, uh, which is like a conclusion uh, drawn on the basis of uh, given facts or premises. Uh, it, uh, reasonability uh, of a reader or the to read in between the lines um, to derive uh, inferences. Uh, you should, uh, you have to grasp the meaning of the passage without being uh, given all the information. Uh, most inference, uh, inference questions uh, require an uh, inference one of the kind which typically meet in a daily life sentence uh, must be added strictly on the passage. Like in the example, uh, there is a fact that NL has uh, started devoting 50 hours to study CSC for review. So there are uh, three uh, inference. inferences given. Uh, NL is a hard working person. NL is likely to get review. And there is much forecasted, uh, determined, and there's a lot of patience, etc. 
all the above three conclusions show on the basis of the given fact and inferences. So, well, then one inference can be drawn on the basis of the given fact. Then, uh, the format of inference questions. Uh, the question stem has a word or phrase with infinite imply or suggest. Most likely, the passage is part of some. Uh, like this. Mm -hmm. or something, or the writer would probably agree or disagree with like his judgment or Makes uh, sense. his opinion. Makes sense. Uh, the piece most likely appeared in this uh, part or the statement or mm -hmm. something. The author, the author implies that the best way to check grant would be like, on an instance. Mm -hmm. say, uh, which one would the author quote as an example of liberalization and Swiss Good. Are we up there with this? Any doubt that you should? No. Okay. Coming back to the word file. So over here you can see we need to take out keywords. I think that is what Sakina that time said it, that, you know, she took out a keyword. I asked her that, where is the fact that she said minister? So that's a strategy which we are following. That is, we are taking out the keywords. And if there is a question uh, like, you know, uh, based on these, you have to break it into parts. If you break it into parts, if it is not like sentence wise, if it's like a, a passage, comprehension questions, then in that case, find out an inference, find out a fact, find out a this, I mean, fact is premise and conclusion. It will be easier for you. It will give you the structural approach. Beware of answer choices. Basically, if you have something which is contradicting your main idea, going op opposite, so don't go with those answers. Okay. Rephrase into simpler words. Understand what is being asked. Okay, so that's a strategy which you guys need to Follow. Okay, critical reasoning questions. Let's discuss a few examples to make it a little better. Um, trying to hide the solution. Yeah, Avni, the first question Chandigarh is a pleasant city. Which one do you think would strengthen the above conclusion, first or second? Uh, there are main, uh, there are many great galleries in Chandigarh. It's co it's common sense, right? Because we're talking about it. So you will find questions like this also. It, it may look easy because they give you one or two questions like this. Okay, coming to the second one, Ayushi. Read it a bit up. The serious accident in which a person was run down by a car yesterday has, has been from the sentence of most uh, uh, satisfactory state of the world. Conclusions are first the accident that occurred was fatal, several, uh, fatal. Uh, several accidents have so far taken place because of unsatisfactory state. Which one do you think? Both. Avni? Both. Sakina? Um, both. Chika? Good. Sakina, question for you. Jade plant has thick leaves and it requires little water. Is the question not there? All the questions. No, this third one. It's okay. Sakina, tell me, jade plants with thick leaves require little all, water. All plants with thick leaves require little water. Jade plant may be grown in places where water is not in abundance. Second is true. <coughs> in the statement, they're not talking about all plants. They're talking about jade plants. Okay. Uh, that 
this because it's not coming and I can't start. So I'm not doing that. Okay, so we have done identifying it. So we have done till 49 page number. 50 to, oops, 50 to 60, you can leave it for a while. Okay, I'll take up after one exercise because I just want you to take a peel of the questions also. So you come to page number 61. So when you do this exercise one, that is like this exercise one, 10 questions, this is not dealing with any kind of inference pack and all these things. This will be dealing with the type of question which I just did just now, the easy ones. These are different types of questions. <coughs> okay. So you can start with practice exercise one. Don't move to two because that is not what I've covered. Paradox are not covered. Okay. So you can start with time starts now, 3.37.
Sakina, me with your hunger short time. I'm done. Agni? How much time, Agni? I'm lost. Done. First answer. Amni. Uh, seven floors have left. Okay. Mom, should I read the question? Sir, tell me A, B, C, or D. B. B for Bombay. Sakina? Bombay. Uh, C. Many business offices are located in building having two to eight floors. If your building has more than eight floors, it has a lift. I am not getting it. What was your logic for B? Sakina and Amni, you can explain that. Um, because uh, if we say second floors do not have lifts, if the building is of eight or seven or eight floors, it will have a lift. Same goes for the C option. Same goes for the C option. Because if the building has seven or eight floors, the floor below third will also have a lift. I don't think so. Uh, it is even matching with your answers given. Did you check? Um, you read if a building has more than three, uh, eight floors, it is actually three floors. Seventh floor have lifts the same. Yes. Okay. Okay, you know what logic is? Yeah, many business uh courses are located okay, see in the building having two to eight floors, building has more than three floors, it has a lift. So, more than three floors may is seven floors up there. Correct. I agree with you, Zavni and Sakina. Good logic. Second one, Sakina? A. A. Okay. Third? C. Mom, third is paradox. No, I'm not explaining you this. You can leave paradox for a while. Just a circle four. Fourth. Fourth C. Fifth. A. Keep giving yourself marks, guys. Chicken. Fifth is A. Sixth. B. B for Bombay. Delhi. Delhi. Ah, sixth is D. Seventh, C. Delhi. Delhi. I'll take it. Not on what 
Examples of what, like inference based questions? Inference questions connect. It is the uh, continuing from page fifty. Yeah, so people are always less happy to accept scientific data. They feel contradicts their preconceived beliefs. No surprise here. No, you no human likes to be wrong, but science isn't supposed to care about bill care about preconceived notions. Science, at least good science. Tells us about the world as it is and not as some wish it to be. Sometimes what science finds is consistent with a particular religion's wish, but usually it's not. So the question is, what can be inferred about good science? Hmm. And the options are, a good science is well received by the educated people. A good science is based on concrete results obtained through the testing of testing the hypothesis, a good science and religion are same. A good science will always prove the general population. Um, and the right answer will be a good science is based on concrete results obtained through testing hypothesis because the paragraph is talking about it that it is not what humans want it to be, but it is based on facts. So, do you agree with this? You both agree. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sakina. And uh, we shall meet as we shall meet as discussed. That is on 19th. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Bye.